Good morning, YouTube. So today we're putting in the Rainbird system, no expense spared, at uh, my friend's property. Um, you'll recognize it from one of the other videos. And um, we're just marking out, I'll see if we can see here, we're just marking out the zones. It's gonna be a four zone. Four zone, yeah. Four zone sprinkler system. So we just marking out where they're overlapping and, and working out the best way they should um, spray and all that good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna dig him in. We're gonna dig, a, dig the trenches in. We're gonna lay the pipe and then um, see how we go from there. But big day ahead of us. Check in later. So we've taken this point on the boundary for the first sprinkler and we've taken it right across the property there and we've marked um, on this part of the property 20 feet uh, intervals. So the sprinklers go from 20 to 60 feet or 40 feet, feet I think. So at the back, because of the boundary here, we've taken 20, 20 feet intervals. And then as you can see, that sprinkler goes around there and always keeping a slight overlap just to make sure that everything is, you know, no spots are missed. Because the worst thing to do is put in your sprinkler system, your irrigation, and find out that there's spaces that are missed. So that's part one done. Marking it out. Now time to dig in the pipe, pipe work. And get going. With the Rainbird ESP TM2, you can have up to eight zones. So we've got we've got one zone at the back there, stretching the whole way across just to make sure we cover everything. Zone one. This will be zone two coming out here. Sprinkler head one, sprinkler head two. 20 feet radius on those. They can go up to 40 feet, obviously. Zone three. We've got one in the corner there. We've got one there. The last one here, and then we're going to run zone four straight across the back behind the playhouse, and that should cover the rest of it uh, with you know, four zones to spare. So, if need be, we can add more in at a later date. Great piece of kit. Here's the goodies, feels like Christmas. We've got the main controller. I'm going to struggle to open now, so I'll leave that shot for the time being. We've got the sprinkler heads, 
which are enormous. Didn't realize they were gonna be so big. Bigger is better though, right? Um, we've got the, what is it, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi link that goes in the back of the main controller. Various leads, um, weatherproof boxes, and a weatherproof outdoor socket. The tools we need, and we've got the fixings in here. We're good to go. All we need now to know is what we're doing. Good morning, YouTube, and we're back, day two. Oh, I need to try down a hole. Um, while I've been away, James has been a busy guy. He's put all of the um, connections in for the main water supply, which is gonna come down off a tank that's gonna be put behind here, behind the boundary. Uh, and obviously this is gonna feed into the pipe here. I don't know if you can see that because of the sun for each of the zones, as we said before. Um, so today we're gonna fix all the piping in and get at least the tank set up for each zone and potentially the um, sprinkler head set up as well. Short on time today, but dying to get this set up and get it running. At least if we get one zone going, we can see how it looks and, and uh, alter how um, far we can get the spray out and in the zones so yeah hold tight while we get going I'm sure there'll be a little time-lapse video see you soon just a quick instructional video just on how we're going to connect these rainbird sprinklers so all of the fittings we're using are MDPE 25 mil fittings so one of the key things when you're using these fittings these come pre-lubricated inside so it helps for the pipe to slide into the fitting but the key things to ensure that you get a, a leak free system is the first thing is we line our pipe up when we cut this pipe you want to use a pair of proper plastic cutters and we need to ensure that when you cut the pipe it's nice and square if it's on the angle you're going to get problems so the first thing the key thing make sure we cut the pipe square second thing is pipe stiffeners now the idea of this is it slides inside the pipe you push it home now when you get the different changing weather temperatures if you don't use this pipe stiffener what's going to happen is the orifice here is going to change shape so this ensures that it stays the correct shape so if it if it moves shape gets smaller gets bigger it's going to pop out the fitting you're going to have problems you're going to be digging the ground back up you're going to be going back over it now the final thing to ensure that you get a leak free installation is you loosen the locking nut you push the fitting in right but the key thing now, you just loosen the nut a little bit more and you just give it a good push to make sure it goes right home. So it goes home an extra 20 mil and then we make sure we lock the locking ring. If you do that with each one, you're gonna have a leak-free installation. Here we go. We've got the first one laid of zone one. Got the first head in there. Obviously we're not gonna backfill that just yet. We're gonna turn on the pipes and just make sure there's no leaks. Everything's connected securely. Head two. And the third or final head from zone one going in there. Rainbird TM2 controller uh, taking you through the menu here. The auto setup is obviously your program settings off, so in the middle of winter, you're probably not going to use it, you'll have it switched to off. Manual watering, we can switch it to that so you can bring on individual zones when you need to. Seasonal adjust will bring it on and off. If, if you leave that on, it will actually, in, you know, it picks up the weather forecast and it will bring it on and off so it adjusts for the seasons. Uh, rain sensor, that's going to that's up here, that's going to pick up whether it's due to rain or not, and that will adjust it based on that. Um, and then you've got all your other program settings, so your start times, your run times, your water days. Now inside these rainbow controllers, you've got the Wi-Fi link module, which I've wired in here. So that's linked to the internet. Um, this will now pick up your daily weather forecast and you can then download the Rainbird app and you can use all of this from your Rainbird app. So if you look at the wire in here, 
So 240 volts going in, 24 volts coming out. This is our rain sensor, which is two wires, which goes up there. This is your common, which is which is each solenoid valve will have a, a live supply. So this just loops in and out to each solenoid valve. And then these are the solenoids that run away. So each solenoid valve, your, your second wire comes back to each one of those, comes on and off as you program it based on your zones. So what we've done here, we've run a 25 mil blue MDPE main all the way down to the end of the garden. And then at separate intervals, we've branched off into four separate zones. Now each zone has got an isolation valve and a solenoid valve at the bottom. So we can now control each individual zone from the app using that solenoid valve to open and close depending on our settings on the Rainbird controller. Morning YouTube, we're back again. So today we are back filling the holes uh, where we've laid the pipe and the sprinkler heads and um, we've only managed to do zone one so far today the weather's been a bit touch and go so let me just show you how we've uh, what we've done as we can see so we've got the mains coming in there and we backfilled it with um, topsoil which is a uh, I think a 70 30 mix sand and soil and we've rolled it and we've got as you can see one of the sprinkler heads there it's free along this zone all the way. Let's do it this way so I can see what's going on. And we're just rolling it down, leveling it out and getting it in there. But it looks fantastic. Just finishing up the top now. We've backfilled all the holes. So we've knocked up a barrel full of um, topsoil, a bit of sand and seed in there. The magic mix that is. And we're just throwing it down over the top. No specific ratios of seed. We're just gonna chuck it down, throw it down, hope for the best. Um, covering all the gaps that we need to. Give it a water. Zone one, done.